My name is Steve Kowacki. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at Savion Corporate and uh, excited to be with you here on Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into a uh, little review of the week's activities, announcements, and uh, talk about uh, what's coming up here in the week ahead. And then we will uh, jump in a little review on some of the uh, Circa information that has been uh, uh, released yesterday and uh, pretty excited here today as we have our first full day of operation with the new uh, credit card option being put on the website on the join page for all new signups so that's pretty exciting I know people have been taking advantage of it as we've all waited a very long time to have that button so uh, we're all excited about that now the uh, rest of the information as far as um, how Circa is going to roll out we'll talk about here in just a moment but uh, this last week, uh, we had a lot of uh, anticipation for that Circa card to be opened up. And, of course, uh, we really, really thought that uh, we would have had it ready by Thursday. In fact, we did have it tested on Wednesday night. And uh, we were so close to pushing the button, but a couple error messages uh, on the final test just before the conference call uh, came out. Uh, we... Uh, saw that there was a couple of things yet that weren't quite there so we just to be conservative and to not push something out that maybe wasn't quite right uh, took an extra day so we appreciate everybody's uh, patience on that as we uh, wanted to be sure that when we released it it would be up and running properly and uh, we do anticipate that it's going to go smoothly but in the event something does come up please take a note of it uh, screenshot it and uh, send it off to uh, support or you can email it to myself if you have a copy of any kind of error messages that come up here over the weekend and with new signups uh, again it's brand new integration you know we uh, did test it uh, multiple times but uh, with technology and interfacing systems together you know there's always a possibility that something could pop up and if so just uh, make a note of it and take as much information on it as you can screenshot it send it off to support on Monday or you can email it to me at Steve Gawacki at yahoo.com if you would like to do that. Okay, um, So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into the week ahead now. The week ahead, guys, we've got a lot of things that are going to start to hit on Monday. And get my notes out here. Um, Monday we have, we are anticipating the mobile app to be ready to go. Uh, we are just basically, the mobile app has been uh, completed, but there was a few updates that had to be done on it, and uh, everything is in the APIs with the app sort of coordinated with the release of the credit card merchant uh, program with the Circa integration. So uh, everything was kind of uh, pinned to the release of Circa and making sure that that whole thing was complete. And now that it is, the app now can move forward. Uh, but it uh, is uh, was just waiting for the programmers to finish up the updated APIs that uh, needed to be implemented and of course that was hinging on the release of Circa that's been complete so now it's the weekend again and I know they're working over the weekend so uh, it's not like they're waiting till Monday they are working over the weekend to complete that uh, final integration of the APIs for the different pieces of the mobile app that needed to go through an update uh, to get it ready to be released to the app, Apple Store uh, next week. It'll come out first through the uh, Google Play Store for Android users, and then um, shortly thereafter, within a few days, we hope to have it available on the Apple Store. So that uh, is being planned for Monday to be released. And then also, um, just to let you know that a lot of people internationally have been asking about when that uh, opportunity to integrate and migrate from the GTM to the RSM uh, or the map would be available and that's called the switch basically and that is also being planned for Monday so uh, please let your people know about that also on Monday night's call we expect to hear some announcements on uh, additional promotions that we've been waiting for like the uh, uh, three for two promotion and uh, those are things that you could expect to hear on Monday night's call um, Another big piece of it as we kind of segue now into the Circa review is the next phase of Circa. Okay, Phase one is now complete. That is the uh, new sign-up opportunity with the Visa MasterCard is now available. And we're, we're so excited that we have established uh, such a powerful partnership uh, with Aaron Tucker and his team uh, that have uh, graciously allowed us to have a no ceiling limit with their company. That means that we can push volume through with no issues. So 
uh, we're really excited about that. You know, unlike other companies, sometimes they they get off and they get off on a fast start, and all of a sudden, you know, a month later, they already have reached their limits and they're kind of back in the same boat again. But uh, we believe we have the long-term partner we need here with uh, Circa, and that they have uh, pledged to give us that unlimited uh, ceiling for doing transactions. So we know on a global basis we're gonna we're gonna push that as far as we can go. And uh, phase one is now underway. So again, um, for new signups in the United States and the U.S. territories, it, it is good for Puerto Rico. It is good for uh, Guam. Okay. Outside of that. Um, the international side of this is going to come approximately 30 days now. Okay, it takes about a 30-day period after the release of the U.S. Uh, to get the international bins turned on and go through all the, the process of doing that. It's a little bit more complicated than just flipping a switch. So that will be coming approximately 30 days from uh, yesterday, okay, because that's when the official launch of the U.S. market happened for Circa. In the meantime, of course, uh, you uh, continue to enroll with the uh, the passes uh, on a global basis. Also, uh, before I get into Circa, I just want to point out on the week ahead that we're changing the webinar schedule. Uh, the webinar schedule is now going to go to a uh, uh, every other day type of option. Between three different presentations, we're going to be doing a map presentation on Sunday night. We're going to do an RSM presentation on Monday night. We're going to do a GTM presentation on Wednesday, excuse me, Tuesday night. So MAP on Sunday, RSM on Monday, uh, GTM on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday we'll be back to a MAP presentation, and on Thursday we'll finish out the week on an RSM presentation. So uh, two nights a week for the RSM and the MAP, one night a week for the GTM. So now you have a designated time that you can bring a guest on one of those days for the respective products that they're interested in. Okay. Um, the PowerPoints that uh, we have created for those, um, there's a couple more tweaks that we're doing to them, and uh, we'll have those ready for our programmers um, by tomorrow to put up on the website. So you can look in the back office under tools for an updated, uh, well, we already have the updated RSM in there. Actually, I did add a few slides to that. So there is an update on that one as well. Updated RSM a new map presentation that's going to be continuously updated here for a while because I know we'll be adding more uh, content to that as we uh, develop it further. And the GTM, uh, we have split that out into its own presentation. So those three updated uh, presentations we will be updating into the back office under tools um, by the end of the day tomorrow. Okay. So that is kind of your update uh, and review. And uh, just understand... Oh. The Circa, I forgot uh, to go there. I'm going to just point you to your email. If you haven't got the corporate email, we're just going to let you know that Phase 2 of Circa begins on Monday, and uh, it's a continuation of the integration of using credit cards for purchases with Savion memberships. And this, In this case, it's going to be for renewals. So if you're uh, hitting renewals over the weekend here, you know, it will be opened up for renewals on Monday. You may, and if you want to avoid uh, lapsing your account, you may have to get a pass one more time here. Um, if your renewal happens to be today or Sunday, uh, if it doesn't can't make it till Monday, get a renewal pass. But otherwise, by Monday, the renewal option will be set up with the credit cards. And um, again, if you have any issues with this process. Okay, with uh, the purchases, with new signups, not with the purchases on the renewals. Um, just understand that uh, there is going to be support available for you. You can contact our member support Monday through uh, Thursday, 10 to 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, or send an email to Savion Support. Um, you know, we're going to be on top of this stuff very, very fast as far as um, fixing any little things that might pop up. But uh, renewals should be available with the credit card starting on Monday. Then 72 hours from there, phase three and the final phase of the rollout of Circa will happen. And that is for all eWallet redemptions for affiliates and members for cash back uh, will go live after phase two is complete. And 
just again anything that happens any pop-ups uh, you know if, if anybody gets a pop-up message during the process of um, doing the credit card transaction just understand that they maybe have put some information in that doesn't match up uh, you know could you, there is a security uh, check sort of on the front end with the information they're matching up information if you had a recent change of address or something and if it pops up a little pop-up window and it tells you to call in it's because that uh, they need to re-verify your information if your information has changed uh, from uh, you know in, in the, the recent uh, past I don't know how far back it looks maybe six months not sure but if the system on the verification side on the front end needs additional information it's going to put up a little pop-up window and uh, <clears throat> Just to let you know that a person uh, can either you're you're, you're uh, putting a transaction through for the credit card, but you're basically um, enrolling for the circuit card at the same time. Two things are happening at the very same time: you're making your application for the circuit card, and you're also uh, perhaps you know making a, a transaction for a, a membership, and. Uh, it is possible that uh, you know you could have a, a decline on the application because of that information not being correct, and if that's the case, it will withdraw you from the process. It is possible that you could be um, cleared for the circa application. All your information goes through correctly, but your credit card may be declined, and uh, in, in which uh, uh, that is a whole different situation. So. You know, there's a couple different things that are happening at the exact same time you're putting through this information. It's it's uh, verifying the transaction for the credit card, for the purchase of the membership or the renewal, and then also it is uh, putting through the information for the application for the circuit card. Now, once everything processed through on the circuit card, uh, the estimated uh, mailing time delivery to get to you is three to five business days. So, you know, figure a week probably a week or less it should uh, show up at your door with the plastic card and then once you reach the rank of a one star uh, you are then are going to be able to uh, apply for the metal black circuit card that uh, we talked about and there will be an additional cost for that card to be shipped and uh, to be put together for you again reference the emails uh, from Savion um, if you're not getting the corporate emails um, you need to send an email request to be added to the email list to uh, um, Savion Corporate or Bob Dorn. Um, if you uh, are friends with him on Facebook, you can reach out to Bob or send a request to myself, Steve Gawacki at yahoo.com, and we'll make sure we get you added to that email list. If you're not getting the corporate emails, it's very important that you do get in communication with the company. Uh, I know uh, some people have had issues with their emails not being connected with Savion. We are aware of that. And uh, that is another thing that we're uh, looking at right now and getting resolved. So um, it's best, you know, Gmail seems to work really well. So if you have another email account besides Gmail, if you want, just for the purpose of making sure you get emails from Savion, I would recommend you just set up a Gmail account and then uh, make sure you add that uh, to our database by contacting support or Bob Dorn or myself. And we'll make sure we get you added into the list. Okay. And then uh, phase three, of course, is uh, going to happen towards the end of next week by Thursday. And again, that's when um, everything that has been held up in your e-wallet or cashback wallet that you're looking to redeem will be available then to pay out to the cards at that point in time. And you'll be able to uh, request your, uh, get your, uh, Genie, excuse me, your uh, circuit card uh, in process and shipped out to you. Okay? All right. So with that, that kind of um, just wraps up some of the updates I wanted to share about Circa and uh, where we're at. So it's a three-phase integration. Just to review, phase one is completed now. Uh, we're just, uh, you know, waiting to see if anybody has any, you know, little bugs or things that, uh, any error messages that pop up. So far, I haven't heard any problems or issues from anybody, which is great. That's why we took the extra day to make sure. So hopefully that uh, remains the same. Uh, moving forward and then on Monday of course phase two will begin for the renewals and phase three will be for the EWALT redemptions for affiliates and members there you go okay and again uh, look for the email for the written explanation of all that and how that's going to happen 
And what we're going to do right now is we're going to kind of segue over back to the map. Okay. Now, um, we're going to, we have a lot of new people that are uh, just starting to look at Savion. And today I'm going to kind of review map from a broader view. Um, you know, I would recommend that you plug in to all of Bill Toast trainings that he's doing on map right now. He's putting a lot of videos out. Stay plugged into to Bill's stuff. And uh, you can find that on his team uh, cashback 20 team is putting a lot of good information out on the map and we'll be uh, uh, we're actually in the process of uh, doing some coordination with Bill as he was uh, very involved in uh, consulting with this app development uh, from his uh, specific background being in retail sales for many many years and uh, working the last four years very heavily in a small business space with mobile apps so Bill was very interested you know, very involved in the process of develop, developing this uh, this app and this this program called Map. So we'll be uh, seeing more and more of Bill uh, from a corporate side. You know, as far as training goes and videos and and materials, there's a lot of stuff coming here in the next uh, 30 days. So just kind of stay tuned. And Bill will be involved in a lot of these webinar presentations as we move forward. But um, I'm going to kind of give a broader view of it today, guys, and uh, you know, just talk a little bit about what to expect, you know, with the merchant program, and you know, and, and I'm a big stickler for setting expectations properly. You know, I, I think that uh, oftentimes as marketers and promoters, uh, we always want to, you know, go big. Uh, we want to shoot for the moon, and uh, a lot of people are pretty excited about the MAP program on a global basis, no doubt about it. And I've already heard reports that people are talking to very, very large companies, like you know, franchises and and large corporations about MAP and I mean man I appreciate the enthusiasm and, and the excitement about that but I got to tell you uh, we got to use uh, common sense here that you know as a word of caution you know you maybe want to re-strategize how you want to roll out MAP for your business because that in my opinion would not be the first place I would start okay so before I really get into kind of going through MAP here as a review for some of the new people here today I want to just kind of, for those of you that have been promoting MAP, I want to kind of give you my, my feeling and my opinion about, you know, how far and how fast should I be promoting MAP. Well, we just released this program, and the app is actually not even available uh, for download yet. We anticipate that to be Monday. So uh, we are definitely on the very, very early side of the release of this program. And, uh, you know, we do have it factored into the website. It is put into the shopping cart. Um, we do have presentations starting to take off, but you know we're still backfilling a little bit. You know, getting the app released here this week, um, getting the uh, marketing materials put together, finalizing all of our presentations, getting the videos finalized. Um, you know, getting the the, the all the uh, funnel stuff put together that Bill's doing. There's a lot of things that are going to come to fruition and completion here in the month of July. So. You know, what What would I recommend for those of you that want to promote MAP? Here's what I would recommend that you do. Start to line up your people. Start to uh, invest time in learning the program. Spending time on webinars like this is a great start. Okay, any opportunity you can learn about the MAP program from Bill or myself or anybody else in corporate or Kevin or whoever happens to be giving information about MAP. It uh, could be somebody in your upline team that's really invested a lot of time in learning about it, and they're doing a training. But anytime you can get around the MAP program and learning more about it, do it. Okay. Focus this next couple weeks heavily on your own education. Focus your time on learning, you know, the nuances of MAP compared to the RSM and the GTM, and um, and start putting your list together of the business owners that you know personally. Okay. Now I know I've heard big plans from a lot of people. They're canvassing big companies. They're, I've heard people talk about doing telemarketing campaigns, and you know, and, and all that's well and fine. I mean, uh, I again, I appreciate the enthusiasm and I appreciate the big thinking there, and I don't want to squelch that, but I do want to say that there is a time and a place for everything, and there is a season for everything, and we're not in that season, I believe, at this moment that we want to be shooting for the stars here. We we've got to build out the merchant advertising platform uh, from the from the foundation level because if we build up too fast and we go to these large large companies they have expectations okay when you're talking about big companies out there that are uh, 
you know, established and, and they're multi-million, multi-billion dollar corporations that have stores all over the country. Yeah, we'd all think that would be like the greatest thing ever to have one of those companies on board, right? But you have to understand that the process of number one of getting a business like that on board is very lengthy and time consuming. There's lots of people uh, that have to, you know, be involved in that process. So it's a very time consuming process and, you know, the bigger the enterprise, the bigger the, the reach, the more influence they have, the bigger the brand. I mean, you can expect it's just going to take not days, but it's going to take weeks, months, uh, several months. You know, sometimes it takes years. I've been involved in a small business arena before with a benefit program years ago. And, uh, you know, the bigger the, the companies that we would prospect to, of course, the potential if you landed one was phenomenal. But it could take you one to two years to land accounts like that. So, you know, that's kind of like the, the whale mentality. You're going to go out and, you know, try to capture the whales out there. But, you know, it, it really would make more sense at this point based on the level of development that we're at right now on this release of the MAP program to start with the people you know that are local people, small business owners, mom and pop stores, the 10 million small business owners across America who don't have more than one location, who have fewer than five employees, who are struggling to keep their doors open because they can't compete with the Walmarts and the Targets and the, the other bigger stores out there. That would be the focus that I would recommend you go to with the MAP program. Look at the small business market. Don't worry about the big business market for now. I mean, a year or two from now when we have everything in place that they would want to see, that'll be a market you can go to. That'll be waiting for us. But, you know, right now, this is on a friend-to-friend, a, a -friend, peer to peer level, and we want to invite you to reach out to the people that you know that are in your own sphere of influence who are small business owners. Okay, the people that have a little restaurant, the people that have a dry cleaning store, the people that have a, a car wash, the people that have a gas station that they uh, that they own, or a small grocery store, or you know whatever, some little shop at the mall. Uh, those are the kind of people that you have a connection to and you have a relationship with, and they probably you know that's their sole income is that location. They're not into um, you know they don't own just a franchise, but uh, that is their one and only business now. Um, are we saying that we don't want to have stores that have more than one location? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying where do we start? Where do we start? I recommend you start with the, that level of the, the small business market. The small mom and pop, the less than five employees, one location, you know, somebody in your sphere of influence or business network that you've met over the years. That's where I would start with the MAP program, okay? And allow us a little time here, like the next 30 days to, to – complete the post development of this release of the MAP program with all the materials that these small business owners are going to need, the placards, the signage, you know, the training, the uh, manuals, all this official stuff that business owners are going to want that uh, if you went to the, uh, just a cold market, the expectations are going to be way higher. But when you have a relationship with that small business owner and it's a friend, it's a neighbor, it's a, it's a former high school graduate, it's somebody that, you know, you've done business with before or been, you've just been a loyal customer for years and you have an opportunity to, to really, you know, talk to them uh, on a transparent level and let them know, hey, we're just releasing this in this market. You could be one of the first to market with this program. However, you know, we don't have everything, um, you know, uh, they're still in post development. It's going to be another, you know, 30 to 60 days. Give yourself a little leeway there, of course, that they're going to be, you know, getting everything put together. I think that uh, that is going to be your best approach right now, guys, with the MAP program because um, if you go ahead and you start to sign up all these businesses, okay, uh, that are more established and they their expectations are going to go way, way higher. You know, they're going to they're going to be looking for all these things to happen right away in the next couple weeks. And uh, I'm just letting you know that, that that timing window, you know, we're pushing as fast as we can, but uh, you really realistically, you need to uh, give people the idea that this can be 30 days, okay, before all this uh, stuff and packaging is going to be available for them. So 
I'm more about the education right now. I'm more about, you know, get yourself focused on the education of this product, how you're going to market this product. Um, start putting seed in the ground. Start talking to people that you know that are business owners. Let them know that this is coming. If they want to go ahead and enroll right now, that's fine. If they've got some employees that want to be on the RSM, if they've got some family that want to be on the RSM and they want to go ahead and get their, their three customers so that they can have their uh, map paid for, great. Go for it. Okay, but as far as going out cold turkey, canvassing small businesses door to door, you know, running ads, uh, telemarketing, uh, you know, cold calling big companies, all that kind of stuff, I, I think that uh, you're putting the cart before the horse, and uh, that would be something that I would recommend you defer that activity out at least 90 days. Okay, right now it's about starting local, it's about starting with the small business owners you know. All right. So again, for some of you on the call today, uh, you might be saying, "Well, how does this MAP program actually work?" Not really familiar with it yet. Okay. Well, let's just give you a little quick rundown. The MAP program, Merchant Advertising Platform, is a specialized uh, individual advertising product that we're reaching out to small business owners with for a hundred and twenty-five dollar subscription, payable on a twenty-eight day cycle. Okay. Just like the RSM, just like the GTM subscription. This membership subscription is 125 every 28 days as well, and it's for the small business owner, uh, whereby they will get an actual map listing with a picture, name of their business, and so forth uh, on the Savion mobile app, and uh, they'll be listed as a map business that any Savion member can jump into that business location and purchase their product or service with a 20% cashback offered directly through Savion, and that's one of the beautiful things for the business owner is that uh, they don't have to come up with the the 20%. They don't have to cough it up out of their pocket. They don't have to uh, uh, you know take the hit. They can basically uh, allow Savion to cover that 20% cash back while they get the full price. And that's the beautiful thing that's different about MAP as opposed to other mobile apps out there that do some kind of a deal of the day program or some kind of a discount savings you know uh, program. Those, those costs are being incurred by the business owner. With MAP, they are not paying anything more than a 125. They are literally uh, paying a flat rate, 125 a month, for that additional traffic that will be coming to them via Savion. And that 20% cashback is being handled by Savion directly through the membership uh, to our RSM members. And again, this is operating on a global basis. Um, uh, one thing, a question came up uh, last night for anybody that's international right now, and if you have people over in Korea or China or any other place that uh, they don't use English as their primary language, uh, for the time being, people are asking, well, how do we list stores in the map? You know, uh, or when we're listing our favorite 10 stores, do we have to put it in English or can we use our own language? And uh, the answer is it must be in English at this time. Okay, at this time, but that's something that we'll look at enhancing as we go along. Just popped in my head. I thought I'd share that for somebody here today that maybe was wanted to ask that question. Um, so again, uh, why is the map so attractive to these small business owners? Because they can offer that 20% cash back while the merchant does get the full price. Merchants get to advertise on a worldwide mobile app where there'll be not just tens of thousands, but we believe hundreds of thousands of people. We expect to have 100,000 plus people in the company by the end of this year. That is our our goal, and uh, you know a million within the next uh, 12 to 18 months. So it's going to grow very rapidly, we know. And uh, the mo mobile app also has that social share button that uh, gives people an opportunity to share their experience with the map store via their social networks. And that uh, can be huge because some people have hundreds or thousands of people in their social networks, which expands the reach again of that merchant's business. I mean, that's like free advertising to everybody's uh, friends and family list. I mean, how huge is that? And they don't have to really pay anything extra for that for you to expand that uh, promotion or expand the, the name recognition of that store out to your own social network. So that is going to be huge on a viral basis, on a global basis, as people will be sharing this this program via social media. And of course, you know, the mobile app by itself is a very valuable tool. It will be one of the best prospecting tools for Savian that you'll have because your phone is in your hand, you know, probably almost 24 hours a day for some people, but the big majority of the day your phone is in your hand and you know everywhere you go that phone is with you and it's so easy just to showcase Savion with the savings potential of the RSM membership 
by showing people the accumulated savings that you have built up so far. And of course, you know, you can uh, uh, share it via Instagram and Facebook and so forth, and you can kind of drip on people the results you're getting with the membership. So as you go ahead and you save eight dollars here and twenty dollars here and thirty dollars here, and you know, and you can just keep punching that out to your social networks, and it's not really, um, uh, you know, you're not really pitching people; you're just dripping on them information about how the membership's working for you. And over a period of time, you're going to have people start to respond. You're going to have people coming to you saying, "Wow, uh, what is this thing all about?" Right? And it's going to start to create an interest um, in Savion from people on your social networks. And of course, with the map, you know, when you're using it at a map store and you share it, it's creating a little bit of buzz for that store potential too. They're like, "Oh, wow, cool! I can go to that store and get 20% cash back." And uh, so it's great exposure. It's going to create a lot of inquiries. A lot of people private messaging you saying, hey, what's this all about? I see this Savion thing saving 20% cash back, and you were at a restaurant that I go to as well. You know, what is that? How did, how did you get 20% cash back there? And it's just going to open up a lot of doors for you to get customers on board of Savion. At the same time, it creates exposure for the small business owner. And another you know benefit of the app, of course, is the ISB. And the ISB is the instant savings portal where you now have can on the fly get you know, instant savings with just about anything, whether it be travel, whether it be, you know, uh, restaurant dining, green fees, golfing, even grocery coupons. It's all accessible through your phone. So you, you don't have to be as well planned as you had to in a previous, <coughs> excuse me, version of ISB only available on the net where you had to print out your coupons and so forth and maybe think it out a little bit. But now with your phone, you know, pretty much on the fly, whatever you decide you're looking for, you type in uh, the name of the store, the activity you're looking for, and the zip code you're in, and it'll bring up whatever offers are available, and you can just take advantage of it and save money. So, you know, the mobile app is going to be a game changer on the ISP because that's a huge area of savings there, guys. Everybody can save money from day one, real savings at the point of sale. Three dollars here, eight dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. You do that on a daily basis, guys. That doesn't take too long, and your membership is easily, easily covered just with what you're doing with the ISB. Not even factoring in everything else on the cashback side. Okay. So uh, obviously, the phone is going to really, really open up the market for you, prospecting-wise. It's so easy just to show and display your cash back that you're getting uh, right via your phone. It's going to be accumulating, of course, from the the, the uh, actual usage side of using the mobile app and acquiring your receipts. It's going to be easy for you to uh, upload those into the cloud now with just taking a quick photo and uh, put it into the cloud with you can access later on at a point of redemption. And uh, the beautiful thing about the map from a uh, member side is that you can add map store on the fly, whereas the other um, in the RSM, when you choose your favorite 10, you have a designated window. You know, when you join, and of course, at redemption time, you have a seven day window where you can change out your stores. But on the map, uh, you'll be able to have a little more flexibility there on that and add them on the fly. And uh, it'll expand your potential getting cash back now to 20 potential stores a month versus 10, as we had before. And again, the social media part is a huge part of the the value proposition to the map business because knowing that every customer that comes to the door is going to get that 20% cash back because they decide to be on the map system who might just go ahead and say, hey, check out, you know, the next time you're in the market for uh, Mexican food, come down to uh, Pedro's here on, you know, 1st and 33rd and and uh, they're a map store with Savion. You can get 20% cash back for your Savion member at this location and share that on, on the social network. I mean, that's great advertising. That's great value for that business owner because you shared that, and it will uh, open up uh, a lot of uh, opportunities there to expand their customer base. Uh, the ISB, we kind of talked about that already, and uh, you know now with the uh, the RSM being global, now the map stores will kind of work in hand in hand on a global basis. So, you know that's why we opened up Map internationally along with the U.S. at the same time because the RSM is now global. And it will uh, map will take off all over. However, um, as I was having a conversation with some of the Australian leaders here this past week, if you happen to be in a country that's kind of spread out, like in Australia, you know their uh, population centers are kind of spread out, not like quite as densely populated uh, with Savion members here in the U.S. You know, it may take a little while for your uh, your international 
market to build up with RSM memberships, okay? And of course, without the RSM memberships being available in that local market, wherever it happens to be in the world, the MAP businesses aren't going to see as much value. So it really does make sense if you're international right now to, again, my, my recommendation if you're listening today on the webinar or on this recording and you're from outside the U.S. where we have a lot bigger population of Savion members obviously here because we've been you know building here for eight months. But if you're in another country and you only have, you know, five of you here in this town and 40 over here and 200 in this town and you kind of spread out and you're not even maybe even broke the thousand mark yet then you know my recommendation is that again educate yourself on the map educate yourself about the potential of it and uh, start putting a list together but focus on getting a base of rsm customers in your local market first you know get several hundred, three, four, five hundred, maybe a thousand customers starting to roll in that local area so that when you do go to map businesses, there's a value for them of a market that will go and participate in that of Savia members. So hopefully that makes sense because if you go out too fast and you don't really promote the RSM heavy, but you go out heavy on the map before there's a lot of RSM customers, the value won't be perceived to be as high for that business owner because there's no Savia members to come in and and take advantage of the offer. Hopefully that makes sense, guys, okay? So um, in the U.S., though, we do have a large Savion base already established here. So obviously many people here in the U.S. are pretty eager to get going with the MAP program. And it makes sense here because we have a pretty uh, decent population of Savion RSM members ready and eager to take advantage of those MAP stores. So it's really, it's all about the size of the audience, of the uh, membership, of the RSM members out there that can support the MAP program when it's being expanded on an international basis. So, uh, you know, just to kind of uh, re-hit on that point once again, you know, if you're wondering, should I really spend a lot of time on a MAP right now? If you are in the U.S., it's a plausible idea because, you know, you may be in a city that has 1,000, a, a 2,000 Savion members, you know, within 50, 70 miles of you that could jump in and take advantage of those stores that you're going to bring on board. If you're in another country that's just opened up in the last 90 days and they only have less than 500 people in the whole country and they're spread out in about eight, nine cities, it maybe wouldn't make as much sense at this moment to go heavy on map versus keep focusing on building up the RSM in your market so that the user potential of map can expand and grow first before we bring on the MAP businesses, okay? And that will also give you some time to learn more about MAP, get the training you need, and also uh, to allow the company to further the post-development of all the materials and the training so that, you know, when you're ready to go, you're ready to go and the market there will support it. All right, what's in it for the affiliate to promote MAP? Well, number one, it is a commissionable product. Okay, so it's no different from uh, an affiliate standpoint as selling a GTM product or selling an RSM product. It counts as another sale towards your rank qualifications and getting your next level, whatever that level is, a founder, a VIP, a, an elite. Um, it's going to count as another sale. So if you have a member that's an RSM member and they go sell a map, you know, uh, product to another person um, and that that map business owner also wants to buy an RSM for his family. Okay, well, that's two subscriptions counted towards your sales from one customer. <coughs> and if they travel, maybe they want the GTM. They may want a third membership. Who knows? So it's another commissionable product with the advertising being offered uh, to, your, uh, to your business. Uh, the map is the way to attract business professionals. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, if you have been involved in the small business market, uh, for any length of time and you start to network with other business owners, you know, the door opener that I would lead with would be the MAP program, you know, to, to get their interest. But once they hear about <clears throat> how the MAP works, how it utilizes the 20% cash back offered through the RSM membership, they may also take interest in the RSM membership for themselves personally, for their own family. So they may want to have a MAP membership to promote their traditional business, but they may want the RSM for their family to use as well. So that could open up a couple different membership opportunities for you by using the map as a door opener. Um, opens up the ability to expand into other businesses and services because remember with, um, with the RSM, we do not allow any type of service-related business 
for 20% cash back on that membership. But with the map, we are opening up the opportunity to bring on a chiropractor or to bring on a dentist or somebody that provides uh, a service of some kind, you know, a massage therapist or something like that. Those type of people uh, normally would be excluded from the RSM, but with the, the MAP program, those types of service-related businesses can be included um, with this uh, program. And, of course, you know, one of the benefits is that uh, you get to leverage the merchant's customer base that may bring more revenue to your business. Because if you go to a, a, a small business that has, you know, a thousand regular customers that come to the door every single month, now that thousand is a potential for more Savion memberships in your organization through that business owner on the map. Okay, so it's tremendous leverage. And of course that business may have some social media leverage too. They might go and promote it to a bigger file and it's on, online. So just a handful of map merchants can really open the doors via leveraging uh, their customer base. I mean, this, this right here is one of the biggest reasons why you do want to have some uh, strategy and plans in the future here for really promoting MAP, at least to a handful of businesses, because once you get into their spheres of, of influence, it can really open the door big time uh, for RSM memberships in your organization. So, again, you know, to summarize here, guys, the, the MAP is where advertising meets shopping. And, you know, Savion is an advertising marketing company. That's who we believe we are. That's our market. That's our focus for the long term. We want to become a player in the advertising world, just like a Facebook, you know, just like a Google or a Twitter who does, you know, geo-targeted advertising. Savion wants to be in that same space. We believe that we can be in that same space and be a leader in that space with point-of-sale data and advertising. And we're, you know, utilizing the power of uh, affiliate marketing and network marketing to uh, gather those customers and establish our business around the world. And, uh, you know, the map is the very first uh, system for generating uh, and onboarding, you know, businesses for the advertising. And uh, there'll be official advertising through the site and the mobile app, but there will be... Um, other introductions here going forward as we go along that will uh, even expand upon that. So, you know, this is exciting. This is a this is a, a big completion part of the, of the vision of Savian in the area of uh, being a global advertising company. And uh, with that, uh, we're going to kind of wrap this one up here. I'm sure that there are some questions here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just end the recording here for for that, and uh, we'll we'll stay on here for a few minutes for some questions. So. Uh, if you're watching this video, thanks for watching this training video here today. Stay tuned for more upcoming video training on the MAP program and uh, how you can be a part of it and make it a successful part of your savvy.